Hey everyone, welcome back. Roads around Dubai have been closed to accommodate the Dubai Tour 2014, while the Dubai Metro will soon have about 70 new stations. A tourism dirham tax will be issued on hotels, Emirates Airlines will soon stream live television channels, and what's Dubai's latest dress code controversy that's been taking the social media world by storm? You're with me, Jessica, on The Roundabout. Starting from yesterday, as you might have noticed, several key roads around Dubai have been and will continue to be closed until Friday due to the inaugural Dubai Tour 2014. Some of the biggest names in the sport, including Mark Cavendish, Rui Costa and Fabian Cancellara, will be riding on the streets of Dubai. So, if you're planning to go through Dubai, only Emirates Road or formerly Dubai Bypass Road is expected to be able to access parts of Dubai at 4.30 today. According to Dubai Police, most of the Dubai roads will be closed tomorrow until 4.30pm and if you're planning to go through Jumeirah on Saturday, try going after 4.30pm as roads will be closed during the event too. Commuters will be pleased to hear that the Dubai Metro is expected to have a total of 70 new stations by 2020. Extensions will double the length of the green and red line, reaching as far as Festival City, Murder City Centre, Silicon Oasis and even Academic City. To put this into perspective for you, the Metro already carries about 13,000 passengers per hour per day and it has the peak capacity to carry about 26,000 per hour. Running at a frequency of 3 minutes in peak hours and every 6 minutes for regular hours, that's about 500,000 passengers per day and that's only half of its actual running capacity which we'll see in the future. With the hype of the Expo 2020, Dubai has been undergoing many changes in its infrastructural plans. However, it seems hotels have not been excluded with a tax to be imposed on visitors from the end of next month. The tourism dead harm ranges from 7 to 20 dirhams depending on the room and it's expected to help fund Expo the 2020 projects and the promotion of tourism in Dubai, with the Expo 2020 expected to cost Dubai more than 31 billion dirhams. Now, although the news may receive some criticism, tour operators are convinced that Dubai will still offer some great deals for its visitors. For all you regular jet setters out there and loyal television watchers, you'd be happy to know that Emirates Airlines will soon have around 20 planes equipped with live TV by the end of the year. Eight channels, including BBC World News in English and Arabic, Euro News and Sport 24 will stream live on flights. So, say you're also a loyal FIFA fan and it's World Cup final time and you happen to be on a plane, you can keep up with the live action at 33,000 feet above the ground. Anyway, Emirates Airlines sees the value of in-flight entertainment and emphasises how it drives passenger loyalty. What channels would you like to see stream live on your EK flights? Let us know on Twitter at The Roundabout 2. Now, there's been a bit of controversy in the social media world in Dubai lately with the news of a topless butler service coming to Dubai. So, bringing a whole new concept of butler service in Dubai, with a rate of about 500 dirhams per butler per hour, private pool and beach parties will have good-looking buff butlers serving them their pina coladas and cosmos wearing only swimwear, collars, and, well, not much else but their suit of charm. Now, there's been mixed responses from people, with some labelling it as inappropriate and against the culture of the UAE, while others stress that there are private beach parties, which usually do go dressed shirtless anyway, and they have addressed the fact that belly dancers parade in skimpy outfits in private desert safaris and no one bats an eyelid. Or maybe that's just because they forget to during the show. Either way, there have been mixed responses and a sense of confusion as to what is okay. So why don't you join the discussion? What do you think? Let us know on Twitter at The Roundabout 2. Well, that's all we have for you this week on The Roundabout. Don't forget to like us, subscribe, share this video, and follow us on Twitter at The Roundabout 2. Here's your weather for the week. Have a lovely weekend.